Yo, I just cooked up a fully functional SaaS with auth, payments, and a real database in 10 minutes. I'm not talking about some janky prototype here. This is a real app that can literally make money right now. This is like payment gated features and everything. Let me show you this insane stack that makes everything possible. Look, I was an engineer at Apple for over a decade. Setting up auth plus Stripe payments used to be this whole nightmare. Web hooks, security, and all that craziness, right? It would take me weeks. But check this out. I found a specific combo of tools that's absolutely fire. By the end of this video, you'll have the exact template that you can literally start collecting money with today. Like for real, for real. So here's what we're cooking with. First, I'm going to show you a three tool stack that's basically a cheat code for SaaS. Make sure you don't tell anybody. Then we're going to clone this template that already has everything configured like it's already done for you. And boom, we connect everything. So you'll have payments working in under 10 minutes. And this is our speed run to the three comma club, baby. Let's go. We say create new repository. The repository name is going to be uh, three commas. Yeah, you know what I mean? If you have three comma club, y'all trying to hit that. I'm trying to hit that for sure. So we hit three commas here and then we're just going to go ahead and say create repository. And what it does is basically it clones a repository in GitHub for you. Now it's all set up with the initial commits and everything. So we're basically just ready to go. And then in terminal, I like to create a, a thing called like a workspace. So I CD workspace and then get clone. And then just, we're just going to clone our three, our billion dollar SaaS just like that. So boom, everything is downloaded. We're good to go. If you have cursor installed, which is what I do, uh, you're just going to type in cursor, cursor, and then the name of the project. So three, and then you hit tab because uh, I don't have anything named three commas and then it'll just show you that type of thing and hit enter and basically cursor is going to pop open with a new window with everything on there, which is super duper awesome. So this is the entire uh, repo that we just cloned from that starter template, which is super duper awesome. Uh, this is this saves so much time and I use this stack quite a bit and we can already see I already have my Claude MD rules files. I have everything in here. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is just get started by installing all the packages. So I'm going to do bun install and now it's just going to install everything. So we got our repo all set up. Now check this out. Most tutorials will have you fumbling around with auth for hours, right? But watch how stupid fast clerks makes this. It's actually insane with clerk. Um, we're, we're going to go ahead and do once you're already signed up and create an account. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is just hit where it says create application. So create application will create our new app, uh, three commas, just the default email and Google create application. This is really, really cool. So clerk has this integration guide and they have these keys here that you want to go ahead and copy. So these are the keys that we're going to put into our environment variables. And these are the keys that we need so that we can go ahead and log in. We're going to go ahead and configure uh, the thing that we need for convex. And so in the JWT templates, we're just going to go ahead and say add new template. Oh, actually, we, we just go to the template here and we select convex. Convex is set up. We hit save. Shazam! Just like that. <laughs> we're pretty much almost done. We have uh, the front end API arrow. So this comes from the JWT template from the clerk dashboard. And so this is basically what we're seeing here. So it says convex. And we're going to go ahead and copy that and put that into this area here. And boom. Just like that, auth is done. Google sign in, JWT tokens, and all that good stuff. Now, normally you'd be looking at another few days just to get Stripe working, but here's the sauce. Clerk has Stripe built right in. Watch this, it's crazy. So now that we have this set up, the next thing that we probably wanna get set up is going to be the configuration for the subscriptions. So this is actually us configuring Stripe so that we can actually start collecting money for billing and everything. Uh, so we're billing is going to be included inside of Clerk, which is really, really great. Clerk's going to handle all the billing webhook type of things. And all we have to do is kind of create our plan. And we're just going to go ahead and add a plan. We're going to call it uh, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> the base monthly fee is going to be 420. And yeah, we're going to hit save. Cool. Next thing we have to do is just enable billing. So we're just going to enable billing. So billing is enabled just like that. We have billing. So I know you haven't seen anything yet, but this type of setup is probably like the, the groundwork we need to do before we start putting all the other values in. Now that we have the, the billing set up, clerk is not going to complain about anything else except for, I think, our webhook URL. So in here we have um, we don't have convex initiated yet, which I'm going to do next. We have these keys here and then we're going to need the webhook secret. So the webhook secret we are going to need from convex is going to be here on the side. Just go to where it says webhooks. And then from there, 
we're going to go ahead and hit add endpoints. We're going to need the endpoint URL from Convex. Okay, so here's what blew my mind about Convex. It's not just another database. You know what I mean? It's literally your entire backend. You write TypeScript and Convex just handles all the API stuff, keeps everyone's data in sync automatically, and there's no more writing CRUD operations for the millionth time. Let me show you how fire this is. I'm just going to create the project and call it three commas. Hit create. Once you create the project, you're just going to go to once again uh, where it says settings and then we're going to go to where it says project settings. And then from here, we're just going to go to where it says um, lost project and then run this invocation here. So we're going to hit copy. And then once you do that, you should be able to kind of basically pull that configuration in from convex and it's going to just basically link the two together. Boom. All right. Just like that. Now we have everything set up with convex and we need to do one more thing, which is basically grabbing the next public front end API URL. So if we go ahead and option click that, what happens is the browser is going to open up and it's going to take us right to that environment variable. So clerk itself has environment variables that we can use. So in order for us to do get this clerk front end API URL, we're going to go ahead and grab this from, let's see, the JWT template. And so the JWT template that we set up earlier in clerk, We'll have this here and this is the issuer. So we're going to go ahead and grab this guy and then we're going to go into the environment variables and we're going to paste that in here. So now clerk is happy. So we put the keys in here and then you see that clerk basically already put in our keys because we ran that like, hey, I lost my type of thing, the, the local files here and it grabbed it for us. And then it even grabbed the front end uh, API URL that we were talking about here from um, this type of thing. So we can kind of see that there. It already grabbed it and pulled it in and put it into environment variable automatically. So that's the advantage of running the uh, bun x convex dev command and you can just leave it running. Convex will just keep grabbing and updating things and, and running its processes. And it's, this is why it's pretty much our favorite stack right now. The only thing we're missing now is a clerk webhook secret. All right, so webhooks. This is usually where everything goes sideways, right? You miss one little config and your payments are broken. But watch how convex and clerk handle this for you. It's actually wild. We're going to use the HTTP actions URL. And so this URL is the one that we want to go ahead and copy. And this is the actual what they call like the site URL. So our web hooks that come from convex stripe or anything like that will have to hit this. The nice thing about stripe integration with clerk is that they're handling the web hooks on that end. So uh, we don't have to listen for them. We just have to listen to clerk. And so in order to do that, we're just going to go ahead and copy this type of thing here. And then we're going to go ahead and get our web hooks secret key. So to get the secret key and everything, we go back to clerk. And then in clerk, we're going to go down to where it says webhooks. And then in this endpoint, remember we said add endpoint. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in here and then we do slash. And then I want to show you where this actual code is so that we can put in the endpoint URL that it's expecting. And convex has a thing here because all of our codes on the back end slash webhook URL. So that's actually the path it's going to hit. So it's going to talk to this guy and then there's an extra slash here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. So it should just be like where it says and make sure it says dot site. So that's how you know you're at the right place. And so in clerk, we're going to go back here. And so we're going to want users created all of the user ones and then payment attempt updated. So all we need is payment update attempt updated. We're going to go ahead and hit create. And once we create this, uh, we now have like a live webhook that's currently going to be talking to it. The next step that we need to do is grab this thing called the signing secret, which is currently right here. And I'm just going to copy it. So that way, wherever we're running the code, I'm going to go back to my three commas project. And then in the settings here, we're going to go ahead and go to environment variables and we're going to add an environment variable. We're going to paste that secret in here. It's called clerk webhook secret. So I'm going to paste that here. And so that way we have that. So in convex, it now has the run in URL. And now it knows about the secret. So that way, when clerk starts to send over the events, we know that it's coming directly from my clerk instance and not your clerk instance or not anyone else from anyone in the world. If anyone else is sending it to this specific endpoint, it's going to drop it because it doesn't have that secret. I'm going to hit save. So now that this is currently running, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, open a new terminal window by going like this and it's going to do bun dev. And so we should now basically be able to get our website to load up at localhost 3000. So we're just going to do that. And Shazam, <laughs> there we are. This is the landing page from that template that has those types of components in. 
and now we rich 420 rich so let's go ahead and hit get started and i should be able to basically log in and so when i log in here uh, I'm going to just like show you like my 5 million e Gmail accounts that I have in every single starter template and thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this guy and then we should be able to cook with this account. So now we basically have the whole kit set up with the template. We got clerk set up. We got the stripe set up with the configurations. The webhooks are all listening to each other. I'm able to log in. And so we have this whole fully functional app. So this is clerk billing. And so we're just going to go boom, payment successful. You hit continue just like that now we can access the payment gated feature so the page with advanced features is here and then we're even seeing it down here it's saying hey everything is running and then even the back end is like hey cool we're good here too and so let's go ahead and check what's happening on the actual convex database so we go to data here we should be able to see now we have uh, a payment charge type through checkout we see that actual invoice id in here we see like the payer with my email and so forth the payment source Whatever you want to collect, you can pretty much collect in here. And it even tells us what subscription they signed up for, the 420 plan, because this boy rich. So Clerk provides um, this type of overview as well. So for my app, we can see that Ray Fernando signed in. We can see the subscriptions of like how many people have signed up. So instead of going to Stripe and managing that dashboard, that's basically done within Clerk. And then what's cool about this type of thing, I don't know if you know this, but whenever you want to configure, let's just say like I wanted to do something else instead of sign in with Google, um, that type of stuff is really easy to do. So that's just SSO connections. We just say add connections for all users. And then we're just going to say instead of Google, I also want to have the Apple connection too. So let's just go ahead and add that. Boom. Now it's currently added. We also have dark mode as well. <laughs> this, this whole thing is like fully fleshed out. That boy cooked. And it's crazy how fast that we can get set up with this. I know this sounds like an ad. <laughs> I've been using Clerk since like, I don't know, like a a year plus or something like that. And I love them so much. It was just like the easiest way to configure. And Convex is the same thing, right? The tooling in, at Convex and Clerk and this none of this stuff is sponsored. I, I love this stack so much and I use it all the time. If you start with this type of base template, it's already configured for you there. I don't know, like it takes a very long time to set up and everything like that. Here it is for free. Like the dude made it for free. Yo, let's just take a second here. We literally just went from nothing to a fully functional SaaS that can accept real money in 10 minutes. We're talking about real user auth with Google sign in stripe subscriptions that are all managed for you and a real-time database that just syncs everything automatically and webhooks that actually work bro this would normally take you about two to three weeks minimum if you're grinding solo and that's if nothing breaks which you know how that goes right the template is in a leak down in the description and it's completely free by the way i'm not gatekeeping any of this and i literally use this exact stack for everything i know it saved me hundreds of hours and I hope it could do the same for you. If y'all want to see me actually build something real on top of this, like a proper product, drop it in the comments. I'm down to cook something up live with y'all. And look, if this helped you out, hit that subscribe button because I'll be dropping more speedrun content every week. And we're all trying to hit that three comma club, right? Now stop watching YouTube and go build your SaaS. You literally have no excuse now. The template's right there. Let's go.